point weather and track together. We go to meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. Now, Michelle, it's crazy to think that we already have all the slopes open and everything. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, heading here into the winter season, of course, the calendar version of it. Still about a week away as we take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, though, feeling very much like it as we track, you guessed it, more snow. This is all light, just a few flurries and light snow showers that have made their way into Rhode Island. Enough for maybe a quick dusting of snow in spots. We see it uh, from 395 in eastern Connecticut across parts of 295 and 95 this morning. Even maybe a few flakes flying along the East Bay of Rhode Island right now. And take a look though at the bigger picture and it's looking dry in Providence with uh, just some clouds passing overhead right now. Temperatures have held fairly steady through the night. We're in the upper 20s to around 30. We get a fresh shot of cold air today. That cold air going to be uh, really settling in overnight tonight and sets us up for a snowy scenario as our next weather system comes in here tomorrow. So no rest here. We've got temperatures in 25 Smithfield, 28 Providence, about 30 in Westerly, 28 New Bedford this morning. Add in the winds and it feels in the teens for the most part. It's going to be a blustery day today. That'll keep the wind chills in the teens for much of the day. So at 9 o'clock this morning, about 24 degrees. Again, we're going to be watching for some icy spots. I think any of those flurries that we're seeing right now are gone by 9 a.m. By 2 o'clock in the afternoon, around 28 degrees. Dry skies, very cold and brisk. How about these overnight lows? Down to 13 degrees. So very cold night. We're going to start off with clear skies. We're going to see some clouds rolling in by dawn tomorrow. In fact, we're going to track this all. We're going to jump ahead to noon today. Mostly sunny skies at lunchtime. That'll continue through this evening's commute. No troubles as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Again, and those temperatures drop. We'll watch for more icy spots for tomorrow morning from the leftover snow uh, that's on the ground right now. And then at 6 a.m. We're dry and I do think we stay dry through the morning commute tomorrow. Here comes the snow. This is 1030 in the morning, light initially, late morning and early afternoon, and then we see some steadier snowfall for a few hours in the afternoon and evening, even warming up enough along the coastline to see perhaps some rain and snow mixing, maybe a little sleep. This area of pink that you see that's going to hold accumulation amounts down just a little bit here, and it's a fast mover. So by nine o'clock in the evening, this is mostly over with, and we're back to drier skies. How much snow will fall? Probably about two to four inches for most of us with a little bit less along the coast coastline where again you have the potential to mix with some rain for a time but it's just enough snow the timing of it uh, to cause some trouble for you kids try and get home from school tomorrow and for the evening commute and certainly we've had a cold enough stretch of weather here that the pavement is very chilly so starting off in the teens that'll set us up for that snow to stick on the ground as it starts to fall so the evening commute is what we're most concerned about with snow maybe a little mixing at the coast I'm going to give it a red caution light right now for your Tuesday evening drive back to drier skies when Wednesday and Thursday. Notice the warming trend. Next weather system that comes in late in the week, more likely to bring rain than anything else. So we'll be keeping you updated on all of that.